Julia Jordan, your favorite real estate agent, Black Beauty and I, we're done with the closing. Church friends of ours, they just bought a beautiful new home and on the way home, I'm looking for other church peeps and they were considering doing something like lease to own. And you need to be careful with that because there is so much fraud. So I was like, okay, let me look at whatever you guys like and maybe I can become basically like a lender to you or the landlord, you pick the house, I buy it. And whenever you guys are ready, you buy it back. Um, so they saw this one because it is kind of in a good budget. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour as I'm already here. And what we often see is that homes are really a cheap flip. Do you see how they did the trash hold here? It's also dirty. I mean, you could just simply um, clean it up a little bit. That would have been nice. What I do like though is the high ceilings and this cute uh, living room. It's very rectangle, it has a good size yard. As you can see, they have a child. So and maybe a second one one day in the making. So the child could play this little back patio here. And you see how it's shaded? So you could put your table there and eat a little bit opening here towards the kitchen. I wish the kitchen would have been done a little bit nicer. Um, you can see the cabinets are not closing. This one here is like a built-in cutting board, but it has a gap, so you cannot really use it. And it's also very dirty here. And then it has another gap here, you see this? So they just put in the board because earlier or later they all have a little bit of water damage there. But I wish everything would just be done a little bit nicer. And I know they, are, they like pretty things, so they will probably not like this. But I thought I'd check it out anyways. Overall, it's cute. It has this breakfast nook here, good space, has a little um, nook for the water heater here. This one is a little bit older. And then this one here as a little pantry. You can store a good amount of stuff in there. The house is under 1500 square foot. What we do have here too is, it's a little bit of a cheap flip. The house is listed, I believe for 225. So it's really, really cheap for a livable three bedroom. Here you have one bedroom. <clears throat> they put in the new carpet. These are so funny, right? You go to the attic. <laughs> and this one is the other bedroom. I wish they would have done these closet doors a little bit prettier. Look, it has here these magnets and it's a little bit floppy, the whole thing. And then look how they, you could have painted the rail <laughs> or the clothing, the rack or how you call it. Okie dokie. Then we have here the same thing for the washer dryer, little, cover up with a plastic bag exactly how you're supposed to do it as a lipstick on the pig flipper and then we have here the bathroom simple cabinet that's the cheapest way to fix it up just put a cabinet in and you see they ripped out the old cabinet but then they didn't they didn't take good care of the wall you see that and then here you have the bathtub they put in new fixtures and then they didn't seal it you see that and they just painted the bathtub do you see that and then they painted it very poorly so it's already coming off again yeah it's just the basic the basic to get this house sold to get it livable basically who knows in what condition it was before this one is the primary so they put in new fans everywhere and it has the faucet here <laughs> looks a little bit like hospital straight in the bedroom and then for the primary of course this is tiny you know look goes a little bit down step down and they didn't exchange this looks a little bit like in the 50s and maybe it's from the 50s no it's not from the 50s <laughs> it's a little bit younger so i doubt that they would like it if they like it we can talk about it a little build in Yeah, so this is what I'm checking out today, uh, getting into owner financing. 
basically becoming not the landlord if we can help it but becoming the bank for people and instead of selling houses that I own because it's simply too many homes I was up to 15 and it's um, too many homes to be a landlord of when you try to be number one agent in the brokerage <coughs> um, my um, to do is you need to become the bank that's the way because no matter if times are good or bad the bank is always winning right so if you have any questions or you want to do owner financing you want to buy homes and uh, become the bank um, to rent out to other people that's a very um, awesome strategy especially in times when interest rates are high because both sides win the buyer wins and also the investor wins okay if you have any questions 832-444-4923 julia jordan checking out bye bye <laughs>